Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of ISTQB certifications program. In this particular tutorial, we are actually getting started with another certification of the ISTQB foundation specialist. Now, it generally means that we do have another part of the ISTQB certification tree where we have specialist certifications. And this is our very first series on the specialist certifications that is automotive software tester. Uh, the automotive tester are basically from the automotive domain who works with uh, the automobile industries and uh, they have their specific level of understanding from different context and content when it comes to their domain specific certifications. Thus, uh, this certification is exclusively for people working with automobile industry and uh, it's known as ISTQB Foundation Specialist or sometime ISTQB Specialist Certification or even known as CTFL that is Certified Tester Foundation Level Automobile Tester. So yes, we will be getting started with this based on the votes provided by you over the community channel uh, we got maximum number of votes for the automotive software tester and thus we were getting started today with the understanding on the sign. So this tutorial is all about the introduction to this particular certification and understand more that what you will be looking forward to. The very first thing is introduction to the examination and the board. So of course by now you are already aware of ISTQB because you're looking at the next level of certification after your foundation so you know what is ISTQB but still let me tell you ISTQB certification is all about international software testing qualification board it's a body which certifies you internationally on your testing prospects and professional standards the certifications are all these things what you see on the screen right now is the complete list of certifications which are available with the ISTQB but not all the local boards conduct all the all of these examinations so you need to check with your local body that whether they conduct these examinations for you or not the one which we'll be covering in this particular series is on the right with circled automotive software tester as a specialist exam on the foundation level but yes, we do have a lot of other examinations related to Agile, Specialist or Core. But yes, there are also some of the certifications which are marked with a red arrow mark, which means that we have already covered this in our channel and you have a playlist exclusive for these examinations. For example, Certified Tester Foundation Level, Agile Tester, Agile Technical Tester, Test Analyst, technical test analyst and test automation engineer so we have the certifications for all these already so if you would like to refer that please feel free to visit our youtube channel and get to the playlist section to understand more yes certifications now we just understood we are having a lot of things and there are local bodies in different countries conducting examination for you so it's just that the board is istqb but a local body will be organizing the exam for you scheduling that for you and certifying you who can appear anyone anyone who has certificate on the foundation level as a prerequisite for these specialist certifications so you need to have foundation level certification with you in order to move to the next level what's the cost it varies from country to country and not limit like specific for all the countries but the cheapest one is in india which is 4700 inr but for different countries it has more different cost and slightly expensive than these asian countries validity remains for lifetime so the certification is available for entire life so once certified you're certified for lifetime you don't have to renew your certifications again and again Additionally, when talking specific to examination, the prerequisite is of course the foundation level certification. So if you are watching this video now for automotive tester and you have not qualified your foundation level certification, please get to the foundation level playlist, get certified by foundation level and then come to this playlist because it's a prerequisite without foundation level certificate, you cannot move to the advanced level certifications. Or specialist certifications the exam type remains objective just like your foundation level certification so there's no change and number of questions will also be same just like foundation that is 40 questions and total number of marks which are possible is also 40 
Total duration provided to you is 60 minutes plus a 15 minute for non-English countries. So if any you come from a country where English is not the primary language, then you get additional 15 minutes uh, during this span to write your examination. The schedule depends on your availability. Whenever you think you are ready with the preparations, you can write to your country specific board and uh, they will schedule the examination for you and you can write. Currently due to the pandemic, a lot of organizations, a lot of countries are doing this online. So online proctor based examinations are being scheduled at your request. And location and venue is no longer permitted because we don't have a scope right now. But yes, when you probably if we overcome the pandemic, we will have a public examinations. So the dates will be available on the local body conducting the examination, their website, you can find that public examination dates, and you can uh, approach them for the same. The passing score and criteria again remains the same as foundation level certification that is 65% and it is common for all the examination throughout ISTQB. So any examination you talk about the percentage or passing criteria is 65% of the total marks which comes for this examination to 26 marks or more. As simple as that and very straightforward that it's just 26. If you get 25 we don't have any scope you have to reattempt that. Some of the people keep asking me that how many times can I retake the examination in order if I fail the examination on first attempt. There is no limit provided by the ISTQB. You can retake it as far as you pass the examination. One last thing, of course, there is no negative marks on this examination as well. So all you need is to answer all the questions which you get. Even if you don't have a clue for any particular question, please attempt that at least because you don't know how lucky you are to get that right. So there is no negative marking, so you don't lose anything for the wrong answer, but yes, you don't earn as well. Further to talk about the K levels, which you know again from the foundation level, which stands for knowledge level. In this special certification of automotive and tester, we only have K1, K2 and K3. That means K1 stands for remember, K2 stands for understand, and K3 stands for apply. There are some topics which are related to K3 where you will be asked to apply your understanding in a given scenario. But nothing stands at K4 because K4 means uh, analyze. You will be given with a real time industry example and you need to uh, understand that what exactly is going on here and apply your masterness on that particular scenario and come out with the uh, right opinion at that point of time to be done. In that case, generally at K4, if a question is asked to you, you have all the options correct. Like any of these can be done, but exactly what should be done depending on the scenario. So obviously there will be a right answer which you need to pick up, but you do not have that. So let's not, let's not waste our time talking about K4. So automotive testers will not have K4 level questions. One last thing is about the syllabus which we'll be covering as a part of this particular series of tutorials as uh, the same will be covered in four different chapters where chapter one is about introduction, chapter two is about standards for the testing of e, &E system, chapter three is testing in virtual environments because not every time you can deploy everything in a real car in order to test it and chapter four automotive specific static and dynamic test techniques. So you may have some differences compared to foundation level when it comes to automotive specific static testing and dynamic testing and their specific test techniques. So this is what the plan is and this is what the introduction to the automotive tester certification is which in, you know includes all the necessary information which you must know in order to begin with your preparation to the certification. Once you are aware of all these things and you find yourself convenient that you are good to go and you have the right to start the preparation, please go ahead and move to the channel further for the upcoming tutorials. We will be having one tutorial every weekday on the series as usual, what I do in my channel. So stay tuned for that. We will be getting back to you with the very first tutorial of the series where we talk about the first chapter introduction on automotive industries and their standards. So look forward to the same. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. 
I'm always there to answer your queries and understand them the same. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.